and congratulations on the victory. Uh, before we get into the fight, physically, how are you feeling? Any health updates? You were back there for a while with that eye, I imagine. Before, before the fight or oh, right now? After the fight. How after the fight, like now? Right before the after the fight was like a little bit bad. My eyes, I couldn't see it, um, early in the second round, but I'm survived. I'm like we fighter, never give up, never quit. I'm here to win. A lot of the broadcast uh, when you had success in the first round, and then he started to have sex in the success in the second round. They were saying like this is just the experience coming through with your opponent. Uh, this might be too much too soon for you. Uh, so while you were in there and that was happening, were you aware of what was going on? Was there any moment in there that you that you just don't remember from all those flurries? I remember everything in the fight. And the most thing I remember that I told myself when I was about to fall, my eyes was blacked out. I say I'm never going to give up. So he better, I'm breathing. I'm going to win the fight. Till I stop breathing, I'm not going to lose the fight. So my I, I was fighting with one eyes. I see him like very bad, like I couldn't see anything, but I still see a light. At the moment, I tell myself, um, till I still seeing the light, I'm going to win that fight. I'm not going to give up, never give up, never quit. But it was a good fight. Like I took that fight to like 12 days notice, including all the paperwork. I had a trouble with the finishing all the paper, with the visa and all the stuff. And do all the medical, all the physical stuff, blood work, everything. So it was like maybe eight days. I get ready in eight, seven days. But I'm a fighter. I used to compete in a very high level competition. So I get used to. Was any part of you worried that maybe the doctor would stop the fight between rounds because your eye was so closed? I was never going to let him do it. I promise. I was never going to let him. I was fight the doctor. <laughs> I don't care. I can't fight the doctor. <laughs> I was like ready to, like, I'm here to win. I'm not like, we're not born to lose, so... He, I told like I told like uh, before the fight I had an interview and I said like he's not gonna win and stay alive. Yeah, he's not gonna win and stay alive. He better kill me before like he take that W and get home safe. So, were you surprised one of the judges scored the fight for him? Um, you know it's my debut. I don't know what the referee was thinking, but I know I won. I won the three rounds. I don't care about what the referee say, but. Even for myself, I know I won the three round. It doesn't matter why he was like trying. Uh, he threw a couple punch in like for like maybe 25 seconds. And the rest of the round was mine. First round was mine. Second round was mine. Third round was mine. And even the referee let me stand up. And I was working that like in, in, in the ground position I was working. But the referee let me stand up. And I said like, okay, I still going to dominate the fight. And I'm still going to throw punches. And I hurt him. He think he will get me in the standing because I'm a wrestler. But I told him before the fight. I'm ready to boxing. I'm ready to strike. I'm not just a wrestler. Thank you, Hamdi over here. Um, I don't know if you've if you're aware of like the reputation that Texas judging has, um, but you know there's been a number of times, you know, especially at UFC pay per views here in Texas, where there's been some controversial decisions. So when you heard you know the split decision, were you worried? Were you worried about that at all? No, I was 100 percent sure that I winning the fight. Doesn't matter. He they give him the second round, but I know like. The fight is mine. Even the referee was, even if they told, they say he won the fight, and myself, deep in my, inside me, I know I, I won the fight. Even if my hand was raised, but I won the fight. I took the fight in very short notice. I fight a guy, he been in UFC four years now. He fought like six fights in UFC. That my debut. So I won. I won. I'm the first one of my country here. And... I won, like not just me, all my people behind me, they won. My coach, my teammate, my wife, my family, my manager, everyone was here for camping, not camping with me, not just like supporting me at the fight, but they was camping with me. That's how much they trust me and they believe in me. So I have to bait them back. I have to win that fight. That was going to be my next question. You know, how does it feel to be the first UFC fighter from Egypt and then to also get to your win here tonight? Feel great, feel great. Like I'm, I'm representing a hundred million person. Uh, you cannot imagine how many people they fly from Egypt to Dallas to watch the fight. Even now, um, people are still, it's 5 o'clock a.m., like 5 in the morning right now in Egypt. People are still awake. They're still watching a fight, you know, in, like in, in internet, and they supporting me. That's how I have to pay them back to get them the win. I'm like, you know, make them proud of like one of them become like a UFC fighter and, you know, show them like we are like we can do it. We Arab, we can do it. 
That's awesome. And yeah. this is your fourth fight this year, I believe. So like, how active do you want to be? Like now that you're here in the UFC, now that you're on the stage, <laughs> you just put on an incredible, you know, three round fight. Yeah, just give me maybe two weeks, get my eyes back and come fight again. I wish I can fight tonight again, but like, nah, <laughs> my eyes is a little bit dark right now. How do you over here? I can probably see you. But okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. Um, were there any other Arab fighters to reach out to you, especially from the UFC? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't think somebody uh, reached out to me because I'm like kind of new. Nobody knew about me. I took the fight very short notice. The guy was supposed to fight another guy, and I just they replaced me. I uh, also want to thank Dana White. I, I want to thank Mike, the, how much they believe in me to put me in a big show like this. And my debut, after three weeks of me signing to the UFC, but that's why I have to, I, I bait them back. I, I want to tell everyone there is like 10 people was waiting for the fight to say congratulation and million people to say like, oh, that's what we're saying is like, oh, he's early. He have to wait a little bit. No, 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 I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go again and again and again. And I have to keep that undefeated. Were you surprised that he went for a takedown in the second round given your you know, Olympic background? He gave me a gift. I was waiting for that gift, he gave it to me. He come to wrestle me, I said like, thank you, man. Thank you, you gave me what I want. And I gave him back, I gave him striking back. I was about to knock him out three times. So he gave me wrestling, I gave him boxing. I don't own nothing to, no, to nobody. You, you got any recommendations for where to go and muscle? I'm gonna, I'll be there in a couple weeks. <laughs> don't worry, I got you. There is a Cairo, Alexandria, Sharm el Sheikh. Don't worry, my family will take care of you. Just let me know when, you, when you're gonna be there. Thanks. No problem. Would you have any interest in fighting in Abu Dhabi on the, these pay-per-views? I would love to. I would love to. Of course, I would love to fight in Abu Dhabi. I have very big Arab community now behind me. You have no idea how many people start texting me. I have no idea who these people is. But yes, I would love to. And I, I, I promise, just let me know. Now I have a big time to get ready. I would like, if I'm ready for that fight, I promise you, I knock him out in the first round, first couple seconds in the fight. What is the MMA scene in Egypt? Because we, we don't hear a lot about that part of the world uh, producing these high level fights. It's um it's kind of new. Everybody's just focusing on um like you know wrestling, judo, uh this the not all like it's MMA in Egypt is like kind of brand new federation. They don't have like very federation there, so that's why we don't see a lot of people from Egypt. Most of the people they're fighting in Abu Dhabi, Kuwait, Bahrain, but they're not fighting in Egypt because it's still so. Now people start to know what MMA. There is one of them, one of their family representing them in the most biggest stage in the world. I think I'm like I'm being. I, I will be a big idol for a lot of kids, a lot of people supporting me, watching me tonight. I'm so happy to doing this. I'm not just fight for myself. I fight for a lot of people.